guys, it's Melanie. Happy Saturday and welcome to what is bound to be a very disorganized fall haul <laughs> of candles and some home decor stuff. So I literally just grabbed things and brought them into this room. They're sort of all over the place. Some of these things still are in their packaging from the store. So um, bear with me as I try to get through everything with you. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the candle stuff. So um, I did place, I think, two, two more orders with Milk House candles. Um, by the way, they discontinued the rewards program. So those of you that were trying to use the link that I had, um, they discontinued that, so bummer socks but what can you do um i do still really like their candles i've decided that i don't really care for the melts um i did pick up a couple more and i'll show you what those are but that was before i really realized how much i actually didn't care for the melts so the two that i did pick up on the recommendation of jennifer um the show 78 on instagram i did pick up oatmeal milk and honey and um, this one is interesting. It smells kind of familiar to me. If you guys will remember almond cream from like back in the 90s from Garden Botanica, that's what this smells like. It smells exactly like the almond cream body care fragrance that they had. It smells good. It smells really good. Um, we'll have to see how it does when it's melting. I feel like this is one where I would mix a cube of this with something else, maybe something kind of fall fruity like a cranberry. I feel like that would be a really good combination. But anyway, did grab those. This one smells really strong, so we'll see. That one might redeem the fragrance melts for me. Um, the second one that I picked up was Welcome Home, and um, I thought this one sounded interesting. Um, and it smells really interesting. I think I would actually consider purchasing the candle in this, but it says sweet, spicy, and fruity. And honestly, that's kind of what this smells like. It smells like a, like a spicy, sweet, fall fruit cookie melange, if you will. It smells really good. I like this one a lot. So we'll see how these two do when they're melting. If they're good, I would actually consider purchasing the candles in these as well. So I did pick up, um, I only brought one out here because I've already like put a lot of this stuff away. Um, I did pick up three more of the Christmas cookie dough candles from Milk House. These are limited edition, which is the only reason why I picked up three. Um, this is delicious. I've already done an in-depth review of it. God, it smells so good. It just smells like cookie dough. It's amazing. Um, not the strongest candle ever, but the reason that I picked up some extras were to be able to do like two candles, you know, kind of in opposite ends of the downstairs of my house so that they fragrance the entire downstairs that way. That was my thought process. Anyway, this is delicious. It is limited edition, so if you want to try it, I would try it before the holidays are over. I picked up several of these. I don't, Like I said, I only brought out one. I think I have a total of five of these. I actually have this burning downstairs right now. I will do an in-depth review of this. I'm gonna try to get that up for tomorrow. Actually, no, I'm not, because tomorrow I have something else that I'm putting up as a bonus video. I'll try to get this review out to you by next Sunday. Um, this is Milk and Sugar from, again, Milk House. Um, the packaging is obviously different, and it's also different from their, like, um, like their creamery jar type containers. Um, this is basically more of like, just like a mason jar style. You guys, oh God. Um, if you love bakery, uh, you should try this. Uh, honestly, it smells like warm, comforting milk and sugar. And I get nutmeg out of this. Like I get a warm, spicy type of note. It's absolutely incredible. Um, I wish it was just a little bit stronger. Um, I'm bur I'm on my third day burn of it right now, and I do wish it was just slightly stronger. 
but this is a great fragrance to light when you have guests coming over and you don't know if they have like smell sensitivities. It just puts a little something into the air that is very warm and comforting and just beautiful, but it's not overwhelming. This is so nice, you guys. This has anything that Bath & Body Works has put out this year in terms of like bakery beat, hands down. I do have some Bath & Body Works stuff to show you guys as well, but it's not much. Um, and then I also picked up one of the Fraser Farm uh, from this. I think this is the farmhouse collection if I remember correctly so I needed a new Christmas tree scent for this year I do still have my backups of my white Christmas from Yankee but I tr I'm trying to make those last because that is a discontinued fragrance um, so I thought this might be kind of nice to bust out when I get my tree out at the end of November <laughs> this smells like a very authentic Fraser fur it smells so real, you guys. I've honestly never smelled a more real smelling Christmas tree scented candle ever. It's so legit. There's almost this like earthy like dirt type note that just makes it so real. It smells like an actual Christmas tree. It's amazing. I can't wait to see what this smells like when it's burning. Um, I might light this a few times just to get like a feel for it and review this for you as well. So as the holidays are coming up, if you are like me and you have a fake tree, <laughs> you need your house to smell like real tree, but you don't want the mess of a real tree. Here you go. This is hopefully a really good alternative. So love that. Um, and I think that is everything. So multiples of these two, cause they're totally amazing. Um, so love those okay um before i get into bath and body works i'm just gonna grab this real quick i'm always talking about how i crock my candles this is what i'm talking about this is a candle crock um i got an amazing deal on this one i actually have another one exactly like this downstairs i have a candle in it right now i have summer boardwalk from bath and body works in there um but I have one of these downstairs. I think they're discontinuing all candle crocks. Basically candle warmers, etc., which is where I ordered this from, they were like giving these away. They were charging $9.99, no shipping and handling, just $9.99. It was like a one-time deal that they did. They posted the information on Instagram. And um, I also found out about it through Norma's Facebook group, Candle Dancer. Um, so I was able to get my hands on one. I kind of wish that I would have grabbed maybe two or three more because they were such a good deal. When I bought mine, I think I paid like $35 for it. Um, so this is this is my candle crock. Basically, you put candles. You can see a candle here in the crock. Candles that don't perform, you just stick them in there and then they warm up and release the fragrance oils and you're left with the wax which doesn't smell like anything by the time that you're done. And then you just get rid of the wax and the glass. But yeah, this one's really pretty. I love this one. Um, there's some really ugly candle crocks out there. I'm kind of judgmental about candle crocks. Um, a lot of them have like sayings on them. I'm more of like just a simple, straightforward, like I don't, I don't need inspirational quotes. <laughs> on any of my things type of person. Um, so this one is great for me and it's absolutely beautiful. Love that. So wish I could link that, but I don't think you can get it anymore. Like I said, I think they're discontinuing the candle crocks. Okay. Let's get into some, um, BBW stuff. I've had people asking me, what have you bought from Bath and Body Works candle wise this year? Honestly, not much. And I think that I might be returning some of the ones that I'm showing you here because they just recently released some new stuff online that I'm interested in, mostly the Harvest Pear. I'm also interested in the um, apricot one, and I'm interested in the spiced coconut milk. Um, so some of these that I'm showing you here will probably go back in exchange for those. But I placed an order online. I had a 25% off plus free shipping. So um, anyway, what I grabbed were 
and I'm not going to get these like all out because honestly, like I said, I might be returning some of these. Um, this is autumn. I actually, for this order, grabbed three autumns. I don't really love the packaging of this. I do love the lid. Um, autumn is a beautiful fragrance. It smells like fresh apples and um, balsam. Do they say balsam? What do they have? Yeah, fir balsam, eucalyptus leaf, juicy fig. Uh, big red gala apple so basically what you get is the apple and the fur balsam I don't really get eucalyptus I don't get juicy fig I think they're just making that stuff up but I do love this I still have a couple backups but I don't know I'm not I feel like this is one that returns every year so I feel like I don't need backups of it necessarily but everything that Bath and Body Works was putting out was either like a repeat of previous years or just stuff that I had no interest in so anyway I did get three of those and then I grabbed sorry I told you this was going to be a little bit of a hot mess here <laughs> I grabbed a cranberry woods on that during that online order as well this core collection retails for $24.50 which is I don't know why they would charge more for this than they do their other candles because these here are still $22.50 so I don't know and you don't get a fancy lid <laughs> but anyway I've always loved cranberry woods I do still have a couple backups of this as well cranberry wood seems to come back every single year I'll probably keep this one um, I do have another one because I also went in store and picked up a few things as well um, I don't know I just I felt like and this is dumb but I felt like it was fall that is when Bath and Body Works normally excels in, in terms of home fragrance at least in my eyes um, and they just really disappointed me this year so anyway here's another Cranberry Woods that one might go back I don't think I need two backups along with the backups that I already have um, I did get this used to be my all-time favorite, uh, a pumpkin cupcake. I still love pumpkin cupcake. I'll probably keep this. But it just seems so much lighter than it ever did in the past, and it also has the really thick rope-like wicks. I don't have very much faith in the performance of this bad boy. I'm definitely keeping my receipt. If this burns like garbage, I'm totally taking it back. Um... I just, I hate that I can't count on Bath & Body Works anymore. Their candles just are so womp womp, right? By the way, I do have some of the Slatkin candles coming my way. I purchased three of his sets from QVC, two from the Today's Special Value that he had, and then also one from his, like, signature collection. So those I will show you guys in a haul here in a couple weeks when they finally ship. I ordered them, like over a month ago but I'm really excited to smell them I have loved Harry Slatkin ever since he was at Bath and Body Works so I'm very curious to see how they perform and all of that jazz um, I did pick up a marshmallow fireside mostly because I love the lids from this collection it's kind of this like basket weave very pretty and I always love marshmallow fireside so I do still have a couple backups. I think I will keep this only because I really do love the lid. But um, I don't need any more because that's one that they always come out with. Frequently, <laughs> they'll come out with Marshmallow Fireside again during the holiday time because that's just what they do. I'd rather that they come back with the uh, Nutmeg and Spice. Come back with Nutmeg and Spice, dude. I would love that. I would die if they came back with that. Oh, and look, I grabbed another pumpkin cupcake. This one smells a little stronger. Is there a difference in the batch variation here? Let's see. So we've got an A2 and an A2. It looks like these were actually both from the same 7178K 3A2. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway. I'll probably keep these. 
reminds me of the days of yore, right, when Bath and Body Works was amazing. So what I think I will take back is probably the, um, one of the Cranberry Woods and then the Autumns, I think. We'll have to see. I don't know. I'm just... I don't like returning stuff, but I'm obviously not going to burn them. They'll be able to resell them, so don't think I'm going to be one of those people. But, um, yeah, I just, I'm just disappointed. I'm very disappointed in Bath and Body Works, and um, I don't see myself buying much from there. We'll see how the Harvest Pear is. That one sounds really delicious. Again, the apricot I'm curious about. I'm afraid of that smelling like the... Um, peach candle, like the market peach candle, but who knows? We'll see. All right, let's do some decor stuff. All right, I'm a wedding florist. I've said this time and time again in my videos. If you're new, that is what I do for an actual living, not YouTube. So when I go to the market, um, I have access to all kinds of decor stuff at wholesale prices. And um, when I saw these pumpkins there, I was like, I must have these for my home. These are from a company called Transpack. I don't know, I don't think I can link these. I don't know where you would purchase these if you're not a florist and don't have access to a wholesale flower market. Um, but I really just fell in love with this color and the gold. Um, this really goes with my decor in my house. We renovated our house a year and a half ago and so my color scheme changed a little bit so these kind of more um, like modern pumpkins do a little bit better with my decor so anyway I grabbed the small and then this is the medium and there's actually a large one that is amazing I think I might go back to the market and pick up the large as well but this was $13.77 for this guy and I want to say that this one was like eight bucks something like that so I'm gonna put these on my dining room table Love them, love that color. Love teal, I love teal. Okay, then I went to TJ Maxx because I love TJ Maxx and I found this and I love it. So this is just a little sign that I'm going to use in a little vignette by my front door. It says fall in love. I don't know if you can see it. It's like burlap and then it has fall in love written on it. I It's really bright right now, so I don't know if this is going to come through, but this was $9.99, and I just thought it was really pretty. And again, this goes with my decor a little bit more so than some of the other things that I've had in the past. I will still try to incorporate some oranges. Um, they just don't go quite as well with what we did when we remodeled. So um, a couple more things from TJ Maxx. <laughs> So I picked up this glass pumpkin because it was just way too pretty to pass up. Again, it has some gold detailing on it, which I think is really pretty. And then this is white. Obviously, this was only $12.99. Um, this is from Olive and Time. That's the name of the company, I guess. But yeah, I mean, they have stuff like this all over Home Goods and Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So if you go you'll probably find this exact one. I just thought that was so, so pretty. So grab that. And then one more little pumpkin. <laughs> and then that's it, right? Yeah, I think that's it. It's most everything anyway. This little guy is actually a candle, although I think I'm going to cut the wick off. I just thought it was so pretty. This is a rose gold pumpkin. This is from Autumn Hill Company. This was only $4.99. Um, Let's get this little guy out of here, if I can. Oh jeez, come on. I just thought this was so pretty. Again, I don't think I'm gonna... Come on. <laughs> I don't think I'm actually gonna light this candle, but I just thought it'd be cute on my coffee table. Oh, he's super cute. Oh. So cute, right? It's got glitter and then kind of like a nice rose gold color. But yeah, it's just a, it's a candle. Here's a wick. <laughs> so I'll probably cut that off and then, yeah, I'll just display this little guy somewhere in my house like this. 
Anyway, that is what I've picked up for fall so far. Um, I might go grab a few more things. I don't know. I don't want to like overdo it. My husband thinks I overdo it with the fall decor. I already have quite a bit, so I should probably slow my roll. <laughs> but I just get so excited for this time of year. This is my favorite time of year, you guys. I am not a summer girl. I am a fall and winter girl. I cannot wait for it to start raining. We don't get much snow where I live, but I can't wait for it to snow again. <laughs> we had snow last year and that was amazing. Um, I just, I want the heat to go away. I just want any mention of summer to just disappear. Just go away. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your Saturday. Please subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care.